Welcome to the Shadows, guys. My name is Phantom, and today we are jumping back into Mafia 1. Last time was a very crazy, crazy time. We had a shipment that we were supposed to be picking up that Frank requested Tommy to go on, and it turned out very wrong. Sam had gotten shot. We were getting chased in, like, a military grade of this time period type of truck. Um, but now Sam's with the doctor. We finished that out, and now we are headed to Sarah's apartment um, to check in on her after a crazy night indeed. Um, let's see what we got going on here. She's to the right, ain't she? She's in down the alleyway. I think she's down the yeah, she's down the alleyway. Okay. Well, let's go see Sarah. Um hopefully she's not still having problems with people. We took care of them a couple episodes ago. Um so hopefully she's not dealing with people still, but we shall see. Um Oh Sarah. Did you bring Luigi dinner? Oh, she's just sitting on a couch reading a book. And I guess we have a key to get in, because she is not phased. By anything that's happening. You're late. Dinner's cold. Oh, she's not happy with me. Work. Did he get shot? I mean, I know uh, as a character, but me controlling him, he did, but like, does he have a wound there too? Or does she just understand? Oh, he is covered in blood. She is now covered in blood. Oh, she just doesn't ask questions. She's just like, oh, I'm just gonna, you know. That's adorable, though. Marry me. Oh. Okay. What? Just, just like that. Just a simple. Okay, marry me, and that's it. Okay, a trip to the country chapter complete. Alrighty, uh, that that was quite the start to an episode. Okay. So, are they officially getting married then, or how does marriage work during this time period? Omoda. Okay. What do we got? Oh, that Polly? That's Polly right there, I think. And there's Don Salieri. Oh, no, that's Tommy, not Polly. As soon as I get your message. Sit down, Tom. Uh-oh. He doesn't sound very happy. We have a mole, Tom. Oh. No. Oh. I was <laughs> up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Does he think it's him? Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Is it Frank? Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. So Frank just up and left? Everything I have, I got with Frank. Uh-oh. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I'm kind of suspicious of him now, because... I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kids mm -hmm. are gone. But so did, did he have something to do with what we dealt with last time? Because he sent Tommy doesn't normally go with him, maybe? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. That's interesting. Because Sam ended up getting shot. Still smarting over the dog. Maybe he called the police in when they because he knew the deal was going on? Yeah. Because there's a mole? Mm. Same one I shot at. Frank, Frank, Frank. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. Okie dokie, we can do that. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you So basically take care of him, find essentially. Them. After that, 
You do what we gotta do. Yeah, will do. It never ends well is when you never ends well when you hear that phrase, do what you gotta do. It never, it never does. <laughs> Alright, let's go. You with a clean car. What is he doing all the way out here? Is this part of our plan? Yeah, this just looks like... Hello, sir. What's up, bud? Tough day we gotta keep a lid on this town. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. All right. I got you a clean set of wheels. Did that convertible looking car? Special here, if you want it. Oh. Oh. A sawed-off shotgun? Frank sees a Lepara. He'll know. The old ways work. All right. Well, we'll go to Biff's in a minute. I'm gonna pick up this dime detective. Eight of twenty collector survey. That's pretty freaking good. Is this the car? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got a nice little convertible, a bolt. We're gonna skip the drive, obviously, but that's a lovely car. That would be one of the cars I wish I could have in real life. But you obviously the gas mileage and everything is atrocious um, compared to how cars are made nowadays. But it'd still be a sweet car to have. All right, Biff. You're down at the end. What information do you got for me, if any? I don't know if Biff's gonna even have anything for me. I guess we'll find out. Um, oh, Biff. Hi, buddy. What's up? Tommy, what's the rumpus? Uh, what's he gonna even tell him? If you can't tell him straight out that Frank's a problem. Any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello. Oh. I don't know why. I mean, that would explain all these different people. We got some guy drunk in the black cat. Who's Little Tony? I don't think I know who Little Tony is. Stuff, so, he's the guy you want to see. Okay. All right. Thanks. Are you going to give him his 40 bucks? Apparently not. Okay. Thanks, Biff. Now I got to go find Little Tony. <laughs> Oh lordy, yeah, if the FBI is in town, Frank probably alerted Border Patrol and everything to that shipment and then sent Tommy into what he knew would be a death trap. Hey, it's definitely possible. Welcome to the world of mobsters, I guess. Hmm, alright, where's little Tony in a restaurant? Is that where he's at? Yeah, this looks like a restaurant on a corner here. Let's see. Little Tony! There's a book in here too I need to pick up. We'll deal with the little Tony in a minute. There we go. Terror tales. Okay. No, everything's not okay. No, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into pen. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Oh, that's definitely oh, yeah. suspicious. Corner of Corner. Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Well, you clearly didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you just told me exactly what I wanted to know. That's funny. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. Mm, he, he wanted out before things went no. south. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Nothing. So that's why Frank ditched it. He knew something was going down with the FBI and everybody trusted Frank and then he just skirted. Is that it? Oh, that seems to be it. Hey, right, now where are we going? Drive to the safe house. All right, we're just going to fast drive where we were. Again, that's a lovely car, but you've seen my driving skills. They're not very good. Oh, oh, oh. Like place. Okay. That's a lovely looking house more than a safe house. I would live in that. Oh, excuse me. I would definitely live in that. Oh, he's got some hired. Oh, there's Frank. Oh, buddy. Hmm. Are we gonna have to tail this car? Yep. I'm so bad at ta- There we go. Alright, so we're here at the airport. There are freaking police and uh, stuff everywhere. Oh my lord. Are we gonna break into this air- Find out where Frank- Really? How are we going to find out where Frank is being taken? Is 
There are literally people everywhere. Can I just go into this way? I can just go into this way, can I? Look for clues for Fang's whereabouts. Shut down the airport, FBI, leave safe house, hangar five. Borello hasn't the honor to even show his face. For a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. Oh, where's hangar five? Are we about to end off in a gun standoff show or something? Catch up to Frank on his way to Hangar 5. Ooh. Yeah, we'll just go into this way then. I got any other ways I can like go around this here? Oh, I can. Hold on. There we go. Excuse me, sir. I guess this can go turn south really quickly depending on how you go about this. Oh, don't get around that corner before I get to you. There we go. It's close. I don't think anyone can see me here, can they? Doing a very good job of stealthing my way through this. Yeah, nobody's got a freaking clue. There we go. Oh, I magically have my sawed off shotgun with me still. Frank, the Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken that better, but Morello finally came after me. Oh, okay, well. It's okay, you can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, you... I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of him. I told him to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you coming with us? Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. Yeah, Frank, I think. Get on the plane, march. For Alice. For me. I don't think. Is he gonna shoot him? I don't know. Get on the goddamn plane, please. I mean, he, he, Morello pinned him in. I kind of feel bad for him now. He doesn't seem like he's a legit mole. He's just trying to protect his family. You've been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. 
one way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Oh, I kind of feel bad for him. Every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Oh, don't kill him. For the love of God. Let him go with his family. God damn you, Frank. You did the right thing, Tommy. I can't say that I blame him for being tired of that life. Not that I've been a part of it, but like, you know, knowing history and the chaos of those times, I can't blame him for that. Alright, so now do we gotta deal with the books then? Is that our next objective now? Yeah, that seems to be our next objective now. Yep, alright, let's do this. Get the account books from the bank. Oh, Savio, he doesn't know yet. So I guess we're just gonna roll with this. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. The safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Thank you. Hello, officer. Beautiful day, huh? It is indeed. Both in real life and in game. Um, oh, I like the lighting that we got going on down here. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna grab this lovely um comic right here and then I'm gonna talk to this guy. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please follow me. Oh. Thank you. There's a car down here, or is that because it's parked outside? It's just bugging out with the map, okay. Are these the books? Something tells me it's not going to be this simple, it never is. I know I say that all the time. Oh, what do we got going on here? I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Oh, there was a funeral for him? What am I doing now? Cleaning up loose ends? Yeah, I guess we're cleaning up loose ends. I guess that was his house. And then the wife and the daughter and the... No, oh, Morello. I think that was Morello. Yep. Yes, it is. You're making my voice twitchy, Marku. Sergio, when I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. It's almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. True. It's a hell of a thing. Ooh. All right, chapter complete, rat in the house. All right. Visiting rich people. Who's considered the rich people? I don't know. Oh, it's the dawn. Houses. Big yards, white picket fences. Are we getting a house for somebody? I suppose. Not for you. 
No, sir. I like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out uh, here. That I can believe in this time. time. I can believe that. In the neighborhood? In a way. Mm. Carl's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. Okay. The city counselor. The same. Morell let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is... So we're going to take out of this guy? Witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. Oh, so we're going to go rob Watkins, Watkins of the files. Okay, fair enough. And where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Uh, nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Okay. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. Dead him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. What's up, Salvatore? You. you know the job. Don't let me down. Si. Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll All just right. bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Can do. That's like good luck, I think. Tommy, Tommy Angelo. Piacere, dear. The connoisseur thing. Meraviglioso. Pifauri. Guess we're driving. Well, alrighty then. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to leave this episode here. Next time we jump back in here, we will head to the prosecutor's mansion, which is over here. Um, and I guess crack into the safe and get these um, case files and everything. But thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. And until next time, guys, have a great day, and I will see you all in the next one.